Right, sorry about the background noise, but I need to get this review done. So, anyway, we are going to the Ringwood Brewery down in Hampshire, and this is their 4X Porter. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV. It's on cask, so yeah. It's a very kind of dark ruby kind of, I mean in this light there's almost a kind of like a, uh, what you call it, a, uh, trying to name the colour apart from ruby. Um, maroon, that's the word, maroon kind of look to the beer. Dark maroon colour, or very dark mahogany, so. I almost stopped the video then for an outtake, but hey ho. Try and get an aroma outside then. Oh, nice kind of smoky woody edge. Dark fruits, plums. I think this is a festive beer from their range, I'm not too sure. I'll have to look into it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, there's no kind of IBU set up for this beer or anything like that. Um, trying to think where in Hampshire they're from. Uh, well, Ringwood, of course. There. So there you go. Very nice. Touch of caramel. Not picking up any kind of roasted malts as such. Um, but yeah, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, definitely nuances of caramel, slightly kind of fudge, there's some dark fruits in there. Yeah, plum, leaving a cracking lacing on the glass, I've only gone for a little half so. As you can tell by the writing, but the uh, Royal Victoria Pavilion in Ramsgate outside on the deck, out looking over the sea and the beach and the harbour. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really tasty porter that's going down very easily. Could definitely drink a pint of this for sure. Um, it's quite tasty, to be fair. There is a little bit of a smoky finish going on but very kind of minimal it's not what I was expecting I was expecting a little bit more in that regard but um, yeah I mean 4.7 I, I don't my, my days of sessioning one style of beer now are, are, are gone um, I've never really sessioned porters or stouts personally it's, it's more of a I like to try and you know, try different things, have half of this, half of that, you know, try different things basically. Um, that was my session, try different things in a session. Um, take photographs of what I've had, because I'll forget. Even when I'm drunk I'll take photographs, it's kind of things like that, so I'll look back, I'll add that, that kind of thing, if I'm not reviewing, etc, if I'm out and about. Um, I just enjoy it, just enjoy the variety of beers that are out there. So I've gone way off kind of counter, but, but yeah, as for a rating then. There's a slight kind of nutty edge to this beer as well. Um, there's a little bit of oak, caramel. There's a slight sweetness. Nice beer. Um, regards to rating then, I think for me this is easily I really really like it I really do uh, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10 um, sorry about the background noise yeah 7.5 out of 10 um, trying to work out what that is on untapped scale so that's seven. That's 3.75 out of five if you're on untapped. The untapped scores are incidentally, uh, it's only had 752 ratings coming in at 3.54, so I'm giving it a 3.75, so it's a little bit higher than the average of them ratings. 13 of my friends have had this coming in at 3.71, so 
that's pretty much where I am with this beer. So, yeah, seven and a half out of ten. If you've had this beer before on cask, I mean what local weather spoons, of course. So, look out for it. Um, and if you've had it before, let me know down in the comments down below, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.